What's up, football fans? I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook. And don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two latest book releases, Football, a Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? Visit our website at footballgameplan.com slash books and get your copies today. First, let's take a look at some of the coaching points in this ball game for both teams. Starting with Kansas City, it's chess, not checkers. And one of the best chess masters, I believe, in football is Andy Reid in creating different personnel groupings, different motions, different shifts to cause problems for a defense. And it ultimately helps calm the pressure that's going to be coming from both J.J. Watt and Jadevian Clowney. And the tight ends as pass protectors kind of ties into the first point. They're going to have to have help along that defensive line, I'm sorry, along that offensive line against those outstanding pass rushers of Houston. And on defense, you want to make Brian Hoyer beat you. And what that means, you have to stop the run. You can't let Alfred Blue have a really good day running the football because then they'll be able to operate off play action. And you want Brian Hoyer to throw the football more often than Houston wants him to. And for the Texans in this ball game, it's about minimizing mental errors. That was one of the big coaching points you heard throughout the entire Hard Knock series. If they play smart football, it allows them to play fast, and they'll win a lot of football games. This is a very good football team. They have to minimize those mental errors. You always want to identify who can beat you on the other side. What I mean by that, you look at Kansas City's football team. A lot of good players offensively, but two game breakers, in my opinion, one in DeAnthony Thomas and two in Jamal Charles. Always know the situation, know where these guys are, and know they're aligned, and adjust your defense accordingly. And you also want to isolate the slot defender for Kansas City. Playing without Sean Smith, their top corner, one of their top corners, they're going to put a rookie out there who's very talented at Marcus Peters, but also it weakens their cornerback depth. So when you go three wide receivers, your third wide receiver should be better than their third corner, whether it's a corner or a safety, whomever they put out there in the slot, you have to identify that matchup and take advantage. The biggest X factor, I believe, for Kansas City will be the play of their offensive line. They face a huge test in this ball game with J.J. Watt, Jadevian Clowney, Vince Wilfork, Jared Crick on the other side. It's up to those guys to not only create opportunities for Jamal Charles, but to keep Alex Smith upright in the pocket. And again, this is an offensive line that's going to be totally rebuilt. Looks a lot different than what we saw last year, especially on the right side. So again, the biggest X factor has to be those guys up front bringing their A game. And for the Texans, I'll be looking at that backfield. Running back Alfred Blue in particular and how well he does as the lead guy in this backfield. If he can keep this offense balanced and on pace, they can win a lot of games until Arian Foster returns. So I think starting week one, all eyes will be on number 28 and what he does running the football. I like Kansas City in this ball game. I think where the Chiefs can exploit a matchup is with their tight ends. They have two really good receiving tight ends in Travis Kelsey and James O'Shaughnessy, the rookie out of Illinois State. I think that's where they're going to have to win. I also believe those tight ends will play a huge role in how well Jamal Charles runs the football. I do think both defenses will show up, but if I had to count on an offense to make plays in the clutch, it will be Kansas City. And I also want to give a huge shout-out to Chief fan forums and Texans fan forums for always showing football game plan support.